Oh, you knocked me off of my quets, you piece of turd. Howdy folks, and welcome back to Ark Ascended. Ark Adventures on the island. A crazy folks ever. I was just out collecting some stone because one of the main things I want to do this episode is build a massive taming pit so that we can use our quets to drop big critters into a taming pit over here and get that work done. And I talked last episode about where I wanted to have that, and I think I'm, I think I'm still going to put it in that place, which is just off over there, down in the water. But I ran out of stone. Ooh, I can barely walk. Um, I want to make, to start out, 100 foundations because I want to go 10 by 10 as my starting point. I don't know what I'm going to do with that 10 by 10 quite yet, but I'm going to take a 10 by 10. I need seven more to do that. Um, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. So seven, I can take a lot more than, than seven, but I only need seven. All right. Let's make those seven. And then we're going to go lay the 100 down, 10 by 10, and see where we go from there. All right, taking a quick little de detour here. I'm actually on the XB Crafted patron server at the moment, heading to the community center because uh, Lego Mandrew, his name? Lego Mandrew, yeah. Lego Mandrew is uh, looking to tame a Quetz, and I offered my services of carrying him around on my RG, and he accepted. So we're going to head over there and see if we can help him out. There are... Two level 140 Quetzes, both females, on the map. And I'm sure we're going to go after one of those. Probably the one that's right next to us here. So actually, I'm going to ping that one on the map. Hang on. Uh, that's this one. And now it'll appear in the HUD in three dimensions there. So go to the community center right down here and uh, pick him up. He said he was waiting for us. So there he is. There she is. How's she doing? Huh? Not as quick a torpor as a scorpion would do, probably. But And then again, this is a high level, so it's probably got a lot of torpor. Oh, hello. I actually don't don't want to look down to see if we're hitting. Hello. Hard to keep track when I have to look up, because I want him to be able to see very clearly. So I want to be above the quets and not angling down towards the quets, so... There we go. Another hit. Fortunately, he's not hitting my bird. Sound like another hit. Sound like another one. Oh, Torpor is pretty high. Oh no, heading towards the forest. That's a dangerous place. I'll have to help uh, protect the area when this thing lands. It's getting there. Oh boy, right in the forest. Get a little closer. Did we go down? Where'd he go? Right. Fortunately, there are no uh, leaping cats right above us. What did he put in there, I wonder? It needs only six mutton. Oh, he's got the kibble. Got the extraordinary kibble. Good job. He teamed up really quickly. Extra 69 levels. Man, 209 to start with. Really nice. I was commenting to him how safe this spot seemed to be, and he said, don't jinx it, <laughs> as you see in the comments or in the uh, text chat. All right, only needs one. There it is. I was going to say, it needs one more feeding, and there it is. He's going to ball it up, and we're going to fly back. Couldn't get an angle on it there, huh? There we go. Fly up. 
find my bearings. Where am I going? Going down there. We'll head back. Okay, we're back on the uh, Crazy Folk server. That was a fun little excursion over there to tame a Quetz. And uh, this is where we're going to put it. Like I said, we're going to start with a 10 by 10. I think we'll try to put it on this end. Because there are some resources over there, even though there's not much. There's something over there, so... Maybe we'll probably try to put a 10 by 10 over here. Um, we can go pretty high to get out, you know, to avoid this rock. Two, three, four. Do we want to go five over here or five over here? I don't know. One, two, three, four. So that should actually make nine now, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no, eight. Oh, I was counting from one from where I placed as one before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need two more. One over here. And one over here. Sure. Why not? Why not? Now, can I go back one and fill it fill it with ten? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Can I go back another one? Probably. Anytime I can't go back, I'm going to go for the other direction. Good. I like how I'm leveling this out. So it's not uneven. Here. Um, I could go back another one, or should, do I want to? I don't know. Let's go forward and see what we got. There's a nice shark there in Megalodon. All right, so I've gone... Well, I don't actually need... Well, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do the count. So one, two, three... All right, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, I may have to go the other direction. Yeah, I do. I have to go the other direction. Let's make sure that I can go across on this one. See how far back I have to go. If I can't cut across on this one, I can. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I only have to go back one more. There we go. One more row over here. Oh no. There is a secret to placing. I always get sloppy and forget about it. You point to the thing you're trying to attach to. So in other words, point to this foundation and it will snap to that foundation or where you want it. Get that placed. Okay. Now just fill in the center. Hopefully I can fill in the center. It looks like I can. Okay. In this case, just point to the foundation I want to snap to, and we're going to be fine. Yep. All 10 by 10. Now, the question is, do we want the entire pit to be 10 by 10, or do we want the pit to be like 8 by 8 or 6 by 6 and have an outside walkway that's, that's made out of foundations? In other words, to enclose the whole thing so that I'm... I'm safe. Pelagornis 125. Oh, by the way, yeah. forgot to tell you. We installed a new mod. Um, we installed a dino level mod. And this dino level mod, all it does, it doesn't like affect the dinos at all. It just changes the, the, the spawning mechanic. And you can configure it a number of ways. In fact, I'll have a link to it, I think, in the, uh, in the notes, in the description. Um, but what I've set it to do, there's one mode where it kind of inverts the distribution matrix, if you will, of, of the levels. Um, normally there's a lot of low levels and very few high levels, and this flips it around. So there's more high levels and fewer low levels. So you should see a lot of over a hundred everything. Uh, that's a 40, which is kind of a, there's a 65. I'm, I'm hearing you're lying now. 130. See a 130 RG. You saw the one, whatever Pelagornis over here, 125. So pretty cool. Um, that a wolf. 140 die wolf. See? See what I mean? It's pretty cool. All right. But you notice there were also some 40s and things here too. So it's not like it's all high levels. It's just there's more of them than before. You don't have to search as far. Okay. I think we want to come in two. I think we're going to try to do six by six. One, two, three, four, five, six by six. That should be big enough for anything, right? Anything we bring down? Yeah. Let's go make more walls and stuff and experiment and see what we can do. Yeah, okay. 
Got our bird down here. Let's um, let's first put up a wall on the outside. I think we want to do two high walls out here. And uh, and in the center, we'll do four high, I believe. I think, I think I did my math right, and I have just enough walls for this and doors, because I want to put four doors in as well, one on each side of the taming area. Uh, maybe two on the taming area and two on the external. I don't know why I would put any on the external. I guess it's probably good to get out there anyway, too. I was thinking about putting a generator down here, too, but I'm not so sure. Maybe just torches. Um, I don't know where I would put the generator to make it be able to reach everywhere. Because the center of this is going to be very busy with, uh, you know, things that want to kill me. So, I don't think I can put it there. Um, ah, that's not what I wanted. But that's okay. That's what pickup's for. Alright, I'm going to come back to the two in a minute. But So, we want to come in two over this far. And then one, two, right here. This is where we want one of our corners. And we'll do the other corner real quick, too. Uh, two in, right? And one, two, so right here. Is that right? I think it's right. Right, and then we're going to go to the same. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. It should be here. Yep. And same thing here. We're on one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm trying to go on the textures to try to count them. I know you're probably, it's not really clear <laughs> how I'm counting them, but I'm kind of going by the textures. You can kind of see where the lines are between them. All right, so I've got these. Um, I guess I do need two walls or two doors. Get out. I guess one over in this direction would be fine. Maybe just the one, but nah. Let's be consistent. Let's do two. Is that the center? Is there? No, there is no real center because they're even numbers, right? So we'll place a wall and we'll make it a... I get a double door. That'll work. There we go. There's one way down. Um, and one over here, I guess, maybe. And then two in on the inside. Is this? This is kind of kitty, you know, kind of a little skew, which is exactly how I kind of wanted it. So, um, I probably do need to make some ramps because I doubt seriously I can get up and down. Well, maybe. Yeah, I can get up and down that easily enough. Never mind. Okay, so I have a way out there if I really want to. And now, let's go ahead and place the two doors I want to put here. Put one over on this side. And then one again, kind of take a cue from that other thing. Do it slightly off center from that one. All right, now it's just regular old walls. And we'll finish this guy up. Did I say regular old walls? Of course I meant window walls. I don't know why I wasn't doing window walls to begin with. Dang it. I need to shoot through something. There we go. Window walls. Okay, so a thought occurred to me. If I'm bringing a Quetz in here to drop something off, I'm probably going to want an area large enough to land a Quetz. It's fairly safe. So, we're going to extend this out. And while I'm at it, let me stick this one. I actually accidentally wasted a wall. Why didn't I make two walls? Am I missing? Oh, oh, I took this wall out. Ooh. I made a 4x4, four four, or hopefully 4x4. Four extension out here which might be enough with the two that are already here so it's basically becomes a four by six uh for the quet so we'll find out um drag this down here can i place these out here hopefully oh crap well is this the right side do i stick the four by four somewhere else like over here maybe or over here. Over here is probably going to be better. Let's see if I can stick 4x4 four four over here. Looks like I can. Um, I did it 3 in on this side. And I lucked out. 3 in on this side. Okay. Yeah, I can do math. Sometime. With a calculator. Oh, I didn't do... F I thought I did 4x4. Four Huh. Okay. Well, I'll have to go make more. But this will be the place to land the quets. I mean, even if I'm going to pick the quets back up in a cryo, um, I'm going to 
still have to land it. Or I guess, well, I'm going to have to set it down somewhere, even if I'm standing on top of it. It's really cramped in this. It can fit here. I, I landed it in here as I was doing work, and it can fit. But uh, very cramped. Very, very, very cramped. So, hmm. I need to go make some more, some more foundations. Dude, pay attention to my own rules about where to plant th or where to place things. Come on. Oh, that's right. I left a foundation over here. That's why I'm one short. Actually, I'm more than one short. I thought it was four by four. It's four by three. Um, but that's you know, that might still work. Well, let's let's actually experiment. Bring you down here. Okay, come in here. Come in here. Can oh, I don't have the quits with me. Um, I should have kept it in a cryo, but whatever. Well, yeah, we'll go test it here in a second. Okay, I extended out one more foundation, as you can see. The quets can fit in here just fine, and I can land. The, I landed it in here. And let's let's do another attempt. So I'll say I drop something off, and then I come back down here and I go land, land. There we go. Even if I stick the head out, not a problem. Cool. Now to use it. You know, for science, I don't remember if two things. I don't remember if a quets can pick up a Uteranus, a UD, which is my favorite mount, basically ground mount. Uh, I don't know if it can pick it up, and I also don't know if it'll be affected by the UD's roar or you know his 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 cry if it happens. Um, so for science, we're gonna we're gonna find out because uh, I don't want to look it up. I want to try it. So, Uteranus. There's Uteranus. What levels of UD do we have? We've got some good ones. Let's actually say uh, 140 to 150. Let's clear that and do it again. Okay, we got a 145, and it looks like we might have. Okay, two 145s, a male and a female 145. Ooh. Let's go ahead and tag them both. And let's go see if we can find them and see if we can pick them up because I don't know. So for science, here we go. By the way, where did that come from? Picked it up and some, killed some animal or something and went into my slot. Need to get rid of that later. Okay, we're approaching. And before we pick it up, we're going to uh, hop off, regain our stam because we don't have tons still. I mean, we have good stam. 5,000, but uh, I just want to get max stam here. I'm going to go ahead and jump off. Stand here, and if you watch, you can see the stam actually growing. 4.5k, 4.6, 4.8 on the left there, 5.0. We're maxed. There's the UD. Again, I don't know if it'll... if my guy will react. I don't think I can get in the water and pick that up, though. Okay, let's try it. Now he's outside the water, mostly. I didn't get him. I don't think I can pick up a UD. There's an alpha. Well, we can definitely attack that alpha. I don't know if we can kill it. It's a high level. Yeah, we can hit it. Cool. Keep it at bay. We do get a lot of knockback with the quad. So let's get some levels from this alpha, first of all. But I don't think we can pick up the UD. I might try the other one to see if it's not in the water. Because it's kind of difficult to pick that one up. Come on, Alpha. What are you doing? Okay, that one's not in the water either now, so... Let's see if I can pick it up. And there's another... Actually, there's another UD over there, so... Okay, that's not what I wanted. I'm gonna let you go. I wanted you. Can I get you? No. Okay. That sucks. I have to catch these guys on ground with traps because you cannot pick them up, it seems. I can't... Oh, I can't attack them in my claws. I didn't think you could do that with you with uh, Quetzis, but you can. What do you know? All right. Well, I guess we'll spend some time here with the Alpha if I can find it. Where did it go? There it is. Come here, Alpha. Get on the ground. We can take you out. Almost. Yeah, we'll get you. 14k. 600 at a time. We can get you. Especially if we keep knocking you back so you can't get us. Ouch. That hurt. I can't be hit like that a lot. Ow. A couple more hits. Should get a lot of levels from this, I hope. One more. 
There it is. Alright, did we get anything from it? No, no drops. We did get 18 levels. That's not bad at all. Unfortunately, I can't pick up a UD. Bummer. Okay, since we can't get a UD, I'm going to make a Therium. Let's see if there's any real... There are. Nice. 140, 145. A male, male. I'm going to see what the map says when I take that down. Um, all males up here. There's a female 145 down there. Maybe we can get some megatheriums. And, oh no, I am an idiot. I thought I was on the quets. I'm dead. Oh, that didn't kill me. Oh, goodness gracious. I am so lucky. I thought it was actually on the quets. I had just gotten off to get its stand back. I really need to pay more attention to what I do. Okay, um, I don't have any food with me either. <laughs> going to be great. Um, we need to start building our armies for battling the bosses if we're going to do that, right? In this series, I hope we are. And one thing, I think Megatheriums might be a cool... I've never done this before, but against the uh, the Broodmother, I think Megatheriums might be kind of cool because, right, they're, they're minions or spiders, which I think Megatheriums have a bonus on insects and, and, and spiders and stuff. I think, if I recall correctly. So let's, uh, let's grab a mating pair of Megatheriums and see if we can uh, get that little army going. That's not probably going to be the first fight. The first fight is probably going to be... Do they still have the giant ape? I think it's like an abominable snowman now I've heard or something. I don't know. I'm a little confused, but let's grab this guy. I think we can pick these up. We sure can. Awesome. This will be the first test of our new taming pit. All right, approaching our taming pit when it draws in here. There we go. Let's see if we can get this guy to drop in successfully. We should. How come I can't release in cave view anymore? I've, I've I've tried that for a while now, and it doesn't work in ascended. You used to be able to be in cave view, look down, and drop. You have to be out of cave view now. Interesting. Okay, I don't have any taming stuff with me, so I have to get that real fast. But we're gonna tame this guy up, then try to go get its female counterpart. Start a bit of a breeding program. I need to get some meat too, because I'm I'm really hurt. Actually, I wouldn't mind getting some uh, healing potions too. Uh, to get my health back quickly. But definitely some food. Okay, let's land Picker down here. No, no, over here, Picker. Don't expose yourself to the Megatherium. Alright, make sure you... Uh, he shouldn't attack. Okay, I think the um, the bow does more? Let's find out. Okay. That's doing... 470 ish. 106 damage. Oh, yeah, the crossbow does more. It seems the crossbow does more. So we'll keep shooting with the crossbow. Okay, this might. Torpor out here. I've been hitting it pretty constantly. I noticed it takes superior, so I brought some superior with me. I should be able to tame it with kibble, which would be good. I think he's going to drop. Three, nine, four, and five, and nine, six. There it is. There's the drop. All right. You should take, according to this, two superior kibble. So two in real quick. And I want to watch this because I don't want to have it starve. I don't want to overuse the kibble either, so I'm going to sit here and watch this one. And then we're going to go get the female. Okay, male's all tamed up and in my pocket. We got the female over here, so let's grab her as soon as we can see her. Now, the great thing about having these 3D markers is they're updated in real time. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, you knocked me off of my quets, you piece of turd. Your 140 is, I'd love to have tamed you, but you knocked me off my quets. You turd. He jumped up to my quets. That is just wrong. That is so wrong. Come here, you stupid bug. Come here. Uh, where is my guy? 
All right. Um, Dino Tracker. Dino Tracker time. Uh, what? Picker. Where are you, Picker? Picker, where'd you go? Wow, you're all the way over there? Okay. Then you need the tracker on you. You're right over there. Come here, quick. Picker. Give me your picker. No. Let me get on you. You, you. Silly bird. All right, stupid compies. Why is this so complicated? Picker? Oh, I'll just whistle land. It'd be easier to find you when you've landed. All right, there we go. All right, Picker, we gotta avoid those stupid thylacolia. <laughs> they can jump up, apparently. I did not know they could do that. There's a female megatherium I would like. Level 145. Let's head on back and uh, introduce you to your new playmate. That should be enough, right? It should fall now. 9 1, 9 2, come on. No? And four, and five, nine six. Should also take two kibble. Two of the superiors. It says two superior. A giant bee honey. Wow, interesting. I could have just used giant bee honey instead of kibble. Hmm. It says it's the same quality tame. I'm going to do that. Okay. Two honey, you say. I'll throw five in there. Yeah, one of them took you to 62, so definitely worthwhile. All right, so we're going to get this one tamed up, and then we're going to build something over here and start the mating process. But um, I think that's going to be for another episode. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. No, no, bye-bye. Yeah, right key.